A question we get a lot here at Hamilton Native Outpost is why are you always burning your fields? The 80s are very fire tolerant and it seems to help them grow more vigorously. So I'm standing here in a native grass field that's for seed production that was burnt just four days ago. And you'll see already these little shoots of big blue stem are starting to come back up after just four days. And we'll go look at another field that was burnt just two weeks earlier than this field and see how it's progressing along. So here we're in a fence row between a f two fields and that's why this was unburnt. So I want to take a moment and show you the how burning changes the vigor of the grass. This field here was burned two weeks ago and has regrowed back. It's probably eight inches tall, native warm season grass. But here in this clump of native grass, you can tell the sunshine's really not getting down to the ground. The grass in here is probably eight to 10 inches tall as well, but it's, it's spindly and it's not got the greenest of color. It's not really getting adequate sunlight. And then you can see the grass down in here, but it's just not getting the sunshine that it needs to really take off. This grass over here has also got a nutrient release of ash that's relatively instant after a burn, a burn followed by rain and really responds, really greens up quickly. So we know that when you burn the ash and the nutrient that gets replenished back to the soil from that fire makes the plants grow healthier. You can see a visual response and uh, the health and uh, how green the plants are and how they grow. This out here is actually going to be healthy for the environment. It's going to sequester more carbon than this getting a late start and not being healthy. Because like I said, a lot of that carbon is actually underground. It's not in the growth that you remove. Another benefit of burning is uh, insect control. Anytime you have plantings and you do things the same way, some things like it, some don't. So a fire kind of resets the clock on insects. It's not a means to completely destroy them. It just kind of keeps their populations checks and balance type thing. When we're talking about burning and the health of the plants, that really pertains to the native plants here to the Ozarks, to the, the prairie plants that we have here in the United States. They all grew with fire, they developed with fire to where they're very fire, not only fire dependent, but they're also very fire tolerant. And that's true of your native gra warm season grasses, your cool season grasses, and your forbs as well. Now you can manipulate the response you get by when you burn and how deep you burn, but we'll get into that in another video. That's why we do burn in our fields about every three to five years. We think that's an important part to keep our plants vigorous and healthy. This is Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to post them below.